did the elusive Denisovans once inhabit the European continent? In a new study that delves into the complex web that is humanity's prehistory, scientists used artificial intelligence to identify an unknown human ancestor species that modern humans encountered, and had dalliances with, on their long journey out of Africa millennia ago. As it happens, if you subtract the Neanderthal and Denisovan parts of our DNA, there is still something in the genome that is highly divergent. Previous analyses of the hominins from Cima de los Huesos in Spain showed that their maternally inherited mitochondrial DNA was distantly related to Denisovans, extinct relatives of Neanderthals in Asia. This was unexpected, because their skeletal remains carry Neanderthal-derived features, and because Denisovans are only known to have lived in eastern Eurasia. From the cave, researchers recovered DNA, and more than 7,000 scattered bones, including several smashed human skulls. It was a discovery for the ages. But there was one complication, the hominins lived 430,000 years ago. The spectacular cave chamber, nearly 100 feet below the surface, has yielded remains from at least 28 hominin specimens. Ancient DNA analysis of the fossils, the oldest human genetic code ever sequenced, indicates that these people from the Spanish site of Cima de los were relatives of Neanderthals, representing a branch that evolved without the introgression of Homo sapiens mitochondrial DNA. This fact is important, as we shall explain. After more than three decades of research, the remains have revealed much about Neanderthal evolution. But the circumstances surrounding the group's death and burial remains contentious. Found in a jumble at the base of a 45-foot chute, some say the bodies were deliberately dropped there after meeting violent ends, a Stone Age cold case. Until recently it has been unclear how the 400,000-year-old fossils found at the Cima de los Huesos site in northern Spain were related to Neanderthals and Denisovans, who lived until about 40,000 years ago. A previous report based on analyses of mitochondrial DNA from one of the specimens suggested a distant relationship to Denisovans, which is in contrast to other archaeological evidence, including morphological features that the Cima de los Huesos hominins shared with Neanderthals. Nevertheless, consistent with the previous study, the mitochondrial DNA of the Cima de los Huesos hominins is closer related to Denisovans than Neanderthals. Mitochondrial DNA seen in late Pleistocene Neanderthals may thus have been acquired by them later in their history, perhaps as a result of gene flow from Africa. These lineages probably had a strong capability of dispersing for long distances, but remained in relatively small and isolated populations. Instead of a unidirectional out-of-Africa model, a multidirectional shuttle dispersal model is more likely to explain the complex phylogenetic connections among African, and Eurasian Homo species slash populations. In this light, and in recognition of the fossil record of Homo erectus the findings are consistent with the origin of a human branch that arose within a diversifying Homo erectus population. This group diverged into the westward population of Homo antecessor, which came to reside for a short period in Spain, and another population, that split later into Homo sapiens, Denisovans and Neanderthals. According to this understanding, early Neanderthals inhabited a large Eurasian area within which it diversified into a westerly branch, the Cima de los Huesos hominins, and a more widely spread population of Neanderthals throughout western Eurasia. The majority of what we know about hominin evolution is based on fossil evidence, and these fossils come from a world shaped by climate and ecological dynamics, similar to our own. The ability to estimate past environments allows us to gain a better understanding of the forces that shaped our evolution. New studies reveal details about hominin evolution that fossils alone cannot by using climate models to estimate past environments and spatial distribution models to predict species occurrence. An important fact is that climate change caused the out-of-Africa migration, humans arrived in Europe 80,000 years ago, much earlier than previously thought. Climate change, linked to variations in the Earth's orbit around the Sun, drove waves of migration both out of and back into Africa. Indeed, an international study published in the journal Science discovered that past changes in atmospheric CO2, and corresponding shifts in climate and vegetation played a key role in determining when and where early human species interbred. 
researchers discovered patterns of interbreeding between Neanderthals and Denisovans in habitat overlap that correlate with climate and environmental change in Eurasia. They also discovered a previously unknown climate-driven hominin depopulation in southern Europe during the early Pleistocene. When, where, and how frequently hominins interbred is largely unknown until now. Scientists investigated the possibility of Neanderthal Denisovan admixture using species distribution models that combine extensive fossil, archaeological, and genetic data with transient coupled global climate and biome simulations. In the main overlap region of Denisovans and Neanderthals in central Eurasia, our Pleistocene hind cast of past hominin habitat suitability reveals pronounced climate driven zonal shifts. These shifts, which influence the timing and intensity of potential interbreeding events, can be attributed to climate and vegetation responses to past variations in atmospheric CO2 and northern hemisphere ice sheet volume. As a result, glacial interglacial climate swings were likely important in favoring gene flow between archaic humans. Scientists typically rely on paleogenomic analysis of extremely rare fossil specimens and their even rarer ancient DNA content, to determine when and where human hybridization occurred. The team of climate experts and paleobiologists took a different approach in their new science paper. The team discovered that Neanderthals and Denisovans had different environmental preferences based on existing paleoanthropological evidence, genetic data, and supercomputer simulations of past climate. The coexistence of several human lineages during the late Middle and late Pleistocene of Asia is probably related to its diverse paleo-environments, ranging from desert to rainforest, and from coastal plains to plateaus, which produced a varied biogeographic sink for human evolution. Denisovans, in particular, were much better adapted to cold environments, such as boreal forests and tundra, than their Neanderthal cousins, who preferred temperate forests and grassland. This means that their preferred habitats were geographically separated, with Neanderthals preferring southwestern Eurasia, and Denisovans preferring the northeast. However, the scientists discovered that during warm interglacial periods, when Earth's orbit around the Sun was more elliptic and northern hemisphere summer occurred closer to the Sun, hominin habitats began to overlap geographically. There were more encounters and interactions among the groups when Neanderthals and Denisovans shared a common habitat, which would have increased the chance of interbreeding. The simulation of past habitat overlaps not only places Denny, the first generation Neanderthal Denisovan hybrid, in a climatic context, but it also agrees with other known episodes of interbreeding that occurred 78,000 and 120,000 years ago. Future paleogenetic reconstructions will be able to test the accuracy of the new supercomputer model-based predictions of potential interbreeding intervals between 210,000 and 320,000 years ago. To better understand the climate drivers of the east-west interbreeding seesaw, the scientists examined how vegetation patterns changed across Eurasia, over the last 400,000 years. They discovered that increased atmospheric CO2 concentrations and mild interglacial conditions caused temperate forest to spread eastward into central Eurasia, creating dispersal corridors for Neanderthals into Denisovan regions. It's as if glacial interglacial climate shifts set the stage for a one-of-a-kind and long-lasting human love story, the genetic traces of which can still be seen today. One of the most difficult challenges the researchers encountered in their research was estimating the preferred climatic conditions for Denisovans. To deal with the very sparse Denisovan dataset, scientists had to devise new statistical tools, which could also account for known ancestral relationships amongst human species. For the first time, they were able to guess where Denisovans might have lived. Surprisingly, they discovered that, in addition to areas in Russia and China, northern Europe, would have been a suitable environment for them. Although it is unknown whether Denisovans ever lived west of the Altai Mountains, this hypothesis can be tested using large sample genetic analyses of Denisovan ancestry in European populations. This type of research is expected to shed new light on the relationship between early dispersal, habitat encroachment, and human genetic diversity. Modern humans have a small amount of DNA from other human species in their cells, namely the elusive Neanderthals and Denisovans. But, 
thanks to deep learning algorithms, sifting through a complex mass of ancient and modern human genetic code, a third biological exchange from a long time ago has been isolated in Eurasian DNA. The researchers discovered evidence of a third introgression, a ghost archaic population with which modern humans interbred during the African exodus, using a statistical technique known as Bayesian inference. Nonetheless, the discovery explains not only a long-forgotten process of introgression, it's a dalliance that, in its own way, informs part of who we are today. Researchers thought they'd try to find these places of high divergence in the genome, see which are Neanderthal and which are Denisovan, and then see whether these explain the whole picture. This population is either related to the Neanderthal Denisova clade or diverged early from the Denisova lineage, the researchers write in their paper, implying that this third population in human sexual history may have been a mix of Neanderthals and Denisovans. Therefore, the so-called Out of Africa event occurred around 80,000 years ago, when a portion of the human population, which already included modern humans, abandoned the African continent and migrated to other continents, giving rise to all current populations. As modern humans forged this path into Eurasia's landmass, they also forged other things, such as breeding with ancient and extinct hominids from other species. These sporadic sexual partners were previously thought to include Neanderthals and Denisovans, the latter of which was unknown until recently. Thank you.